I am David Moritz from Viceroy Creative and I'm going to show everyone how to make a classic simple cocktail um, that men and women can enjoy and that everyone should know how to make. Um, this is the martini. May I have a drink? A drink, of course. He didn't see me. Waiter, I will have a martini. Yes, ma'am. We're going to do a all vodka version of the Vesper Martini, which is James Bond's martini. Um, and typically, the Vesper Martini is uh, both gin and vodka with Lillet Blanc. We're going to make the ultimate martini, which is um, all uh, ultimate vodka with Lillet Blanc. Um, if you don't have Lillet Blanc, that's fine. You can use any uh, dry vermouth. The process is very simple. Uh, you just want to um, chill the glass first, um, if it's not already frozen, so you just put a few ice cubes in the glass. Uh, next step is a um, little ice in the uh, cocktail shaker. We've got our, not our classic uh, iconic Nambe twist shaker here. Um, you can measure. If you have a lot of experience, you can just eyeball it about how much is necessary. The ice is going to melt, and in fact, um, when the cocktail is requested famously shaken, not stirred, um, and typically it is made shaken, the point of that is not only to make the drink very cold, but it's also to melt, the shaking melts the ice and it light, lightly dilutes the um, alcohol. Dry martini, lemon peel, shaken, not stirred. Vodka? Of course. So you just put the, uh, the alcohol in uh, and give it like a quite vigorous shake. Uh, the point being for the ice to actually break. And I can feel the uh, cocktail shaker getting like ice cold now. Okay. So that's done. Thankfully it opened. Um, okay, assuming that the glass is uh, uh, chilled in the intervening time, um, I add the vermouth directly to the glass so that I can be sure as to how much is in each glass because it's actually important um, that you get the right quantity. Too much of it will change the flavor of the product um, more than what people probably want. When people say a dry martini, that means to use less vermouth. Um, if they say a very dry martini, that means to use almost no vermouth. Some people do this kind of thing. Uh, sometimes you'll see this in a bar. Uh, a, a extra dry martini is made by literally swirling the vermouth around in the glass and then dumping the rest of it out so that you only, the drink is only flavored by the hint of vermouth that's left. Dry martini. Oui, monsieur. Wait. Three measures of Gordon's, one of vodka, half a measure of quinoa lily, shake it over rice, and then add a thin slice of lemon peel. Yes, sir. And of course, no matter how you do it, even if there is you know, a relatively large amount, it's pretty much entirely alcohol. Um, yet, it's still a refreshing, delicious drink when you use a good quality uh, vodka. So I'm gonna use you know, a little bit of vermouth here. Um, then we're going to strain the vodka and pour it in, usually filled all the way to the brim. You can see I did that just by estimation and keeping in mind that the ice will melt a little bit. Uh, to make our garnish with uh, lemon peel, we're using the Alessi uh, uh, apostrophe product, um, which is a really handy tool. Um, to, to create this. You need a little bit of practice uh, there, and that finishes it off. You know, that's not half bad. I'm gonna have to think up a name for that. Amazing. Thank you.